Hello all, Dr. Fox back here with you with your weekend update. We got so much to cover today. Yes, more may make an appearance. <laughs> you can actually see me today. I Hopefully you can hear the audio a lot better this week as well. And you'll see me staring at a piece of paper quite often. And so, so much more, including darter transmogs. And well, let's get into this, shan't we? Dr. Fox back here with you with a weekend update. You might notice a beautiful scenery behind me, the Alita One that I'm sitting in. That's part of my family now. Uh, for those that watch my YouTube will know what I'm talking <clears throat> Excuse me, talking about. Uh, so I finally got Alita moved over thanks to a friend of mine and we got settled in over here over the last week, but we'll we'll get into all the details of what I've been up to in a minute. Let's kind of let's kind of jump into this stuff. Of course, the big topic this week has been the sprite darter outfit, and uh, whether you know, I mean, we 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 saw that, you know, it kind it kind of makes you feel kind of uh, blizzconny, I guess, in some form or fashion of of what some others would have said about it. And, and I'm kind of feeling that vibe a little bit, too, especially since supposedly we were going to get it. BlizzCon originally was going to be this weekend, even though usually it would be next weekend, m more likely. Uh, but, you know, there's that. Anyway, it's been, and for those that don't know, BlizzCon has been canceled and it's been moved back to like February. And it's going to be like an online aspect. It'll have to be interesting to see how that's going to all unfold in the future. For those aspects but with that let's let's shift back and you might notice here that uh, i'm uh, slowly leveling another uh, priest over on my rp server because i've been wanting to unlock i was using class trials and then of course when the pre-patch comes out the class trials like stop uh, or you have so many days to use them in that fact so i'm sorry i'm slowly trying to replace those and i want to be able to send like because i have my main over here my my paladin staff my, my dark iron dwarf you'll have you'll see that uh she wears plate so i'm trying to make a couple that will carry like the cloth because you can't send them across server well you can't send them across rp to to pvp and pve which we are on over on the other one so i've been slowly working on a little bit of that in the background as well so I'll, I'll show you this. These were some of my trials originally I had set up, but I got to remake a couple of these. I know these two are actually cloth, but I, I was going to just put a mage over here. Just this is my normal cheek. I usually run over here on uh, Revenhold as well. And then you can see there's my horde side of Ander Hall over here as it takes a few moments to, to load. And this was my magical character. That I finally, we'll get into uh, Hollow Zen in a little bit, but she was my chica who had finally, finally dropped on. And I posted that over on uh, uh, Twitter, but I guess we're having Twitter. I noticed this. A lot of people were having some Twitter issues about connecting your World of Warcraft to Twitter. And then you re re I thought there was some internal issue, so I unsigned it, and I tried to sign back in. It's just giving you a rectangle sign-in box. We'll we'll show you that here in, in mere moments. But before we get too far into that, let's let's finish the the sprite darter that I was talking about. I just I had to show that while we while we were jumping, and then uh, Nastajar is my main one over here. You can see it right here. This is the sprite darter. Now the good news is you could break that up if you want and just use like the wings. If you want to do something like that, uh, that's just the whole outfit. I decided to, to use one of my transmog uh, weapons to sort of go with that colored theme as well. Oh, she more, <laughs> more at seeing something. I'll if I can turn the camera just a second. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's that way. There she is. What's that? Oops, sorry about my thumb on the edge of the camera there. What? That's right. <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys a good uh, view of the nature outside while we work on our weekend update today. So you're not just hearing my voice anymore. I get a lot of folks asking me about that. But so we, we, we that's the, the Sprite Darter outfit that we were uh, discussing. You can get that from six months and it comes sort of a, a freebie for six months. It comes with, or it's $20. Some people have some issue with that. I totally get it. I don't know if I would be spending $20 on a transmog. I get like like the other one, 
the 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 indigo or indigo well, if I can find that, Dan, I think she's still wearing it. Yeah, she is. There's that one. And then uh, for for the, uh, you know, I get when you upgrade to Epic, you pay extra and you get the the transmog from the from the collector's edition for for Shadowlands uh, upgrading. I get those, and I get like the six month, like we we get with the six month, we get a mount. Or we, you know, this time they're throwing in a transmog. So there's different debate about that. We're going to kind of leave it at that and see what you folks want to share uh, on that as well as I slowly uh, stare at my, my notes today. This is just how I have to do this. This is normally why I don't put myself on camera for a whole list of reasons. Uh, but uh, so as we mentioned, sadly, no BlizzCon. That will be in February as we had mentioned that. Ah, uh, Scourge event. Hmm, different speculations are coming up. I mean, we could do the the tentative calculations. And I think with 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 some of us speculation, it might only be a couple of weeks. At least this is what we've been hearing across the board uh, a couple of weeks prior to its official launch date. But we know that that also got pushed back a bit. So there have been some possible dates bouncing around. We might see something in a couple of weeks. There's a few uh, estimates out there, possibly somewhere around November 12th ish. Is that, wait, was that the Tuesday? Was that the, or I, oh, sorry, the 10th, somewhere in there. No, November 10th ish. Uh, we may or may not see that, maybe the 17th. Especially if they're pushing that back to possibly somewhere around December 3rd-ish. We'll have to kind of see. Anyway, so that is a very rough estimate uh, on where and or when that may uh, pop up as well. Of course, those that know, it is Hallow's End. Happy Hallow's End to you, y'all. It has started since Sunday. We can celebrate with that. And with that said, I can't believe it. I have to show you all. I know a lot of people are going to be extremely jelly. I know I have been flustered about it for some many years. I was very, very ecstatic. My guild to get it last year. I was like, hopefully that will rub off on me. And it did. <laughs> it finally did. I was queuing day after day after day. And it finally dropped. Let me see. This is Sunday now. I think it was Friday. He he had just left. I think my brother was on, and my brother experienced my un uh, moments of speaking. And uh, if I land, I was you, whoop. and of course I go into Bachel, so I can't show you. So our stream is going to be a tiny bit longer today, but not bad, not bad. It's 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 uh we'll, we'll get to show you a little gameplay i was i was having her stay over here because i had just learned how to uh i'll have to turn down the the volume for all that but i wanted to just show you the uh, i i was trying to come over and tame a couple of these um uh, war serpents uh from my pets and uh there it is my friends oops get rid of that there we go and finally Finally, after years, after years, after years, it finally dropped on my Blood Elf. And ironically enough, that first week, within a first couple of days, our guildy had the horse drop. I think it was on reset day that afternoon over here on the Alliance side. So I, I, I really couldn't believe it. But finally, after years and years and decades of trying to get this darn thing, finally have it. Now we've got to worry about the 0.0001-ish pink rock. Ah, no, that's, I have a lot of alts for that. If that's over with, maybe I don't have to keep all my alts as much. I had them for, for the guild thing as well, but I was going to just show you all that. So that event is going on. If you go to the little fire flame uh, in uh, Alliance, on the Alliance side or on the uh, Horde side, you can get a 10% buff. Uh, experience buff and rep buff it's a good time to get that extra but and speaking of those rep buffs we still have it going on until a few more days the impressive influence rep uh good time to go after those paragon cash i've been trying that i think i still only have proud more 
had morality in BFA and in Legion I still have I'm still trying to get that darn dream weaver the dream weaver uh, mount as well because I have a few of the lucid I've I've struggled so hard to get get through that riddle and I can see it more wants to come over and <laughs> she's seeing some stuff outside what's that get up there huh what's that what's that so Laura gets to visit today. At least you see her backside today on the weekend update. So much more excitement going. I said, everyone, anyone happened to stare at a screen, you can actually pay attention if you want. This you want to go up there? We made a little perch for her up here. I'm gonna to have to show that on on camera, I guess. Oh, uh, that's right, sweetheart. What you think, honey man? Oh, uh, we'll have to come back to the perch when we get into what we've been up to personally on that part, so we don't keep you here, y'all, all day. So. Uh, let's see with that the uh, oh uh, yes the uh, I've had some folks ask me uh, in the emissaries uh, the guide individuals up I have joined that I've been one of the new guides that gives you access to the fifth uh, the, the 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 fifth trading channel or new player channel I better just get her up in the air because this is a bad place to be hanging around uh, because I won't be able to log out otherwise I know there's not really any real safe place around here, but uh, we'll just have to do that. So you get a little bit of weekend update, you get a little gameplay, uh, you get you get a uh, some and the backside, <laughs> but more and the the mountain my character as well. Um, but we were talking about the emissaries, and you can sign up to be the guy that is available from uh, uh, Celestial Periwinkle. And uh, the, near the Stonewind Emissary, she's right down by the by the fireplace. Speaking of bonfire, fireplace, big bonfire there. And for the uh, Horde side, it's uh, e Ela Pathfinder. I, I Ila. Those that know my channel know I botch these names terribly. So, <laughs> so I, 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 the stories I could tell. And uh, oh yes, I would interested some have been asking me about that otk for those that don't know what otk is it's the one true king group and uh yeah i uh, i think i've talked to tips before uh a couple of the other individuals that's involved in it i would be uh more than happy to be open to that i think i hear some alarm or something going off back there so once i get my arms free i gotta <laughs> yeah hi honey i was gonna keep her on camera for y'all but my alarm decided to uh go off on me honey right honey that's what i meant i mean the, the alarm went off uh <laughs> excuse me i was talking to more but the the one true king that uh eh, sounds interesting i mean it, it would definitely help especially i think for those that that streamers that that have a a, a lower um a lower amount you know uh there's a lot of factors involved but yeah i i'd be interested in it um <laughs> we'll have to i don't know we'll have to see how that that kind of plays out uh we know know that we do a lot of a lot of content with that that uh i got most of it set up but i am still struggling with some of the affiliates and some of the other things like that i'm trying not to sell it too much but you know we all got to make a living somehow so you know things may change and i may like eat my own words on that uh, maybe that's why it's made it so difficult for me to even make a, a penny for the, but that is a discussion for a whole different day on a whole other subject. And something else I just want to share before we, we switch gears into the calendar. Uh, those that may have not noticed, I have seen the, these are uh, two, a couple of my all time favorite movies of all time, Goonies and Back to the Future. And, uh, those just fun facts i love throwing out these little fun facts uh for film and games and things like that uh technically in the game in the in the films they took place approximately between october 24th and 26th 1985 so and there's a lot of clues in there that that show that and i just i just thought that was a fun little fact i i someone wrote a great article about it the other day and i said i was hoping someone would finally touch on that basis because i've talked about that with with other individuals for you know on and off for a really long time many years anyway i just thought i'd share that 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 little fun fact as well 
And uh, we're also, uh, sadly, as of Tuesday, I'm going to have to unhook uh, my water. I have been enjoying some nice hooked up water here. We're going to start having below freezing temps, and I'm going to have to unlock, uh, unhook that. There are some hoses, but I'll have $186 plus main tax and the shipping. Well, actually, no, supposedly technically ship, free shipping over $35. But I digress on that. Anyway, it's supposed to work up to negative 20. And then I wanted to get the one that was negative 40 degrees. There's a little heating rod that's connected to it. You plug it in and it keeps it uh, to, to help. I was going to use something like that, but I don't really have that much money to invest. And then I've had some people still have some trouble with it uh, bursting on them. So yeah, there's some, you know, I don't have water in my, I made sure to winterize my travel trailer that I'm in now as well, or Lita one. I've made sure that I've had her winterized. So I'm just having the water come in di directly. And then I'm going to fully empty that here uh, by Tuesday. Cause Tuesday night, we're supposed to start getting some, some below freezing temps. So I'm going to have to do that. I know I kind of felt that this morning I got up and I go, Alita, you're a little chilly, but that, that will be changing very, very soon. I, I knew I'd be waiting a couple months. Where I've been trying to get the uh, propane tank company coming back out again to help us put one, uh, put a tank connected up to Alita and to um, the shed next door. Uh, we, we have, I have a few options. I've been spent, speaking of the shed, I've been spending a lot of time getting that shed organized. I wish I could have like filmed all of it while we were cleaning it up so we'd have like that fast motion cleanup blah, 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 you know that that would have been absolutely brilliant but my my uh it long story sometimes this tech stuff won't work when i want it to and then some will go well it's not that it's not working dr fox you just don't quite know how to figure it out no that's not the issue either because those that know me know that i've done a lot of uh robotics and tech reporting back in the day uh, as a journalist back in my day uh, as well as film and uh, uh, radio and, and television and always being involved in that while on the side studying to be a, a doctor as well uh, as well as doing a cosmetologist a licensed cosmetologist cna rn and then doctor with other aspects in there that i had started to study originally with music and, and so things varied from there anyway so we're gonna we're gonna shift calendars and uh i just wanted to finish that up yeah so we're hoping that we'll have heat in here uh, eventually and it doesn't mean that i don't have heat i do have an electric one it's just we know that that airless electric one i'm plugging in is gonna suck a lot of uh, elect electrical but we are we are efficiently hooked up so it's not like I have one of those official like RV plugs. I feel like I'm literally sitting in an RV spot that I don't have to like. I'm enjoying nature again, and I'm, I'm we're enjoying um, just. I like I like this being in a smaller. It, it costs less. Uh, there's pros and cons for all of it, but I'm just sharing a few of the things I enjoy. But with that, let's uh, we'll we'll get in here to the to the calendar up here. And go on through this. Of course, as we talked about, Hollow Zen Arena Skirmish bonus event as well. We'll continue through the 27th PvP World Quest bonus event. We'll be, get, be bleh, beginning this week. Uh, PvP Brawl Temple of Hot Mo the Mogu is going to be beginning this week. So for those PvP players as well, we hope that that... Uh, happens and you can in, enjoy that if you're hearing like just a little bit of sound come through that <laughs> this i think i still have a little bit of my audio turned up i wanted to put put on in the background this, this beautiful alliance um excuse me in music for it but because of youtube's copyright issues i have to kind of leave it without sound in the background sadly because it catches a lot of that it goes ah 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 ah, ah. and i don't want to have to re-record my <laughs> my shows again so if i look a little bit like a granny sometimes i have to pull these down a little bit to get and i know i can't do bifocals i tried that there's the ones with the with the line thread i can't do that and then you've got the ones without the line and i've tried those and now i have to do them separate and i can see up close i just can't see far away and uh so sometimes i find myself actually going like this like a good old granny and yes yes <laughs> so Yes, we are a, oh, wait, I think I saw an ear. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, you guys are, would rather see more than, than me anyway. <laughs> oh, 
course. And we have our little little Halloween. We have a couple of little Halloweens up. This is the little Halloween tree. Um, I have the uh, pumpkin by the window over there all lit up. And I have a small pumpkin uh, cup that's holding like the little tiny minis as well. So, oops, sorry. I didn't get my hand all over that. <laughs> but, uh, so that is the calendar. And uh, I hope you all have a safe week. Uh, see, I was trying to move the camera so you could still enjoy it more a little bit. Yes, I know, poor baby. I know, honey, I know. We're going to take care of that in a few minutes. So once again, this is Dr. Fox. Thanks for coming along and enjoying a little of an extra extended one today with some extra visuals going on than normally just staring at a at a screen. Take two more. Uh, drop your two pre-patch uh, thoughts about when you think pre-patch will drop yourself. We will call me in the morning. And then once again, yes, we will see you later.